welcome to our walk. Brain breaks is what I want to talk about. Regularly incorporating short movement activities into the instructional day not only allows children to get their wiggles out, but energizes them and increases their ability to focus on the next learning activity as well. These activities increase long-term memory and engagement. Here are a few brain breaks to try. This is a nice one. This crosses. We go like this. And we go like this. Uh, it helps engage our this. brain, everybody, Ready? okay? Yeah. Elbow to opposite yeah. knee. Oh, elbow. 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 Oh, all right. Elbow to opposite Wow. Knee. We'll do it ten times. Need better. Two, three, four, five, six. And we could actually skip count while we're doing this wow. for math. Two. Skip. All right. Four. Count. Before we walk, we probably should do a nice little stretch. Do we have to do it with that flare like this? <laughs> I think it's my son's musical ability that maybe showing off in the mother a little bit. Switch. All right, then we can do another one. This is a little more difficult. Watch behind you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I can do the other side. Right? It's harder when you have the credit books It's a little harder. It's easy for me. Now we're going to take a deep breath. A belly. This is called a belly breathing. Bring it in. Bring it out. Bring it in. Bring it out. Bring it in. Bring it in. Stretch up, 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 up. Put your toes. And down. And now I believe we are ready to go for a walk. We are. Where are we going, Mrs. Well, Curtis? We're going to follow that path right there, go all around Harrington Park and all around um, Hathaway School. You feeling ready to go? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, that's the way it should be, right? If you're, uh, that's the whole point about doing a little bit of exercise and a little bit of walking to school, because it gets your blood going, gets you gets you focused in the morning. Uh, how many How many of you guys walk to school? 
No, not uh, in, in general. How many, how many uh, of you routinely walk to school? That's pretty good. That's really good. That's good. You guys keep it up. You guys keep it up. So, um, you know, on a day like this, sometimes it's easy to get a ride if you can get one. But, you know, if, if you get a little bit wet, that's okay. But I, listen, w the reason why we do this, and, and we're doing this all across the city at all schools, is to encourage kids to walk. Because walking, walking is good exercise. You know, it may seem easy while you're doing it, but just the, the fact that you do it, the actual, actual walking uh, does, does make you a little bit healthier. It focuses you on your schoolwork. Um, it's a good way of seeing your neighborhood and saying hi to people. It's a social, it's a social activity in that way, and that's good. We want kids out in the neighborhoods playing, walking around, and getting away from screens, right? TV screens, computer screens, video screens, right? Yeah. And there's a time for that stuff, but it's not all the time, right? So uh, we all want you to be healthy and grow up to be strong adults in every way, mentally and physically, right? So, uh, so I just want to say thank you to all of you and congratulate you for doing a good job. This is going to, uh, walking to school today and walking every day uh, can help you in your schoolwork, help you do better. Uh, I want you to uh, thank all your teachers today for, for participating and for, for all their hard work every day to make you guys stronger mentally, right? Um, and uh, I want to thank, there are a few people, other people I want to thank. I want to thank um, Mrs. Curtis uh, for being such a great leader of your school. Uh, and your teachers, and I want to thank uh, Mass in Motion, Kim Ferreira, and, and uh, Julia Cantor. Julia is here somewhere. She was here. Here's Julia. Uh, thanks for putting it all together today. Uh, great job. This is, this is something we've been doing uh, every year for the last few years, and we're going to keep it up. I walk, I have uh, my youngest daughter is at Winslow School, not too far away. I think you guys know where Winslow School is, and we walk in the morning. She complains all the time when we walk, but uh, after a while, after you start walking a little bit, uh, they, after she starts walking a little bit, the complaints seem to, uh, to go away. So, uh, so sometimes it's hard to get going for some people if you don't walk, but once you get out and do it and get into a routine, it can be, it can be fun. So let's, uh, let's uh, do it more, let's spread the word. And uh, I have uh, another guest that I want to introduce to you. That's a friend of mine named Mike Rocha. Mike is a, a cardiologist. Who knows what a cardiologist is? Who knows what a cardiologist is? Anybody? Show me a hand. Who knows what a cardiologist is? Well, he's going to have to explain it to you. A cardiologist is a heart doctor. And when you exercise, you make your heart stronger. And he's going to tell you a little bit about it. But, but Mike has been, Dr. Rocha has been, uh, a very strong proponent of exercise in our city. He cares a lot about you and wants to make you stronger. And so I would just ask Dr. Rocha to come down and say a few words. Mike? Let's give him a round of applause, guys. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? So, Many years ago, I was sitting kind of similarly where you are. I went to actually Jira Swift School up in the north end of New Bedford, and it was a local school. So I walked to school every day, and we played kickball in the schoolyard, and that kind of stuff is so important, not only for your physical well-being, but also for your mental well-being. We know that actually if you exercise, okay, it's going to help you learn. It's going to help you think. So making sure whatever that exercise might be, whether it's walking, dancing, moving, find something that you enjoy to do, okay? It doesn't matter. Keep yourself moving, and that's going to be really important for you. And we take a look at the things that will help you to be healthier kids. What you're eating in the morning, okay? Making sure that you try to get as many fruits and vegetables into that diet is important making sure that you're active and moving and playing and using your mind are absolutely important, okay? Uh, and making sure that you do things with friends, you know, learning to play games in the playground with your friends, such as kickball or whatever it might be, those are really the times that you'll really remember and you'll build those bonds. Learning to play basketball together and just learning how to shoot. You know, for me, I went to New Bedford High School 
I played on the New Bedford High School state championship team in 93, and those are the fun times and the things that I remember. And it's not just winning the games, but it's all the times that you're out there playing together, learning how to get healthy and how to keep active and keep your minds moving, okay? Does anybody have any questions for me? So as, as uh, Mayor Mitchell said, I'm a heart doctor. I specialize in patients that may have diseases of the heart. But one of the things that I'm really interested in doing is preventing people from getting sick. So doing the things to prevent people from coming to see me, so to speak. So what we need to do is to focus in on diet, exercise, walking, and a healthy mind. Any questions from anybody out there today for me? Go ahead. Yep. And I, I'm, I'm wondering if you're his doctor. I don't know. I had to take care of a lot of people. Okay, but good question. You know, and, and one of the things I'm trying to do is, is to try to get as many people out there walking. We have actually a monthly wellness walk around Buttonwood Park, the first Saturday of every month, called the New Bedford Wellness Initiative Walk. So if you, if you and, and, and your family want to get out there and get moving, you know, it's a two-mile walk around Buttonwood Park. We'd love to have you there. Uh, we're trying to get as many people excited about health. And some of you can help your parents, for example, tell them how good you feel after you. How many people felt good, even though it was the rain, a little rain today? Did that feel good to walk to work, a walk to school today? How many people thought it was fun to walk to school today? Awesome. It was fun for me to walk with you. Any other questions? I'll give a couple, two more questions. Go ahead, right there. What was that? You weren't able to make the walk? You can do it later on today. You know, walk someplace else today if you missed it today. What was that? How much blood is in somebody's heart? Typically, the blood actually pumps out six liters uh, per minute. So every minute, your heart pumps out three Two liter bottles. That's a lot, huh? Every minute. Go ahead. What was that? Push ups. Push ups are good for you. Absolutely. Whatever activity or exercise that you can do, if you keep moving, dancing is also one of them. How many people dance here? Awesome. That's exercise to people, so don't forget about that stuff. Go ahead, another question. That's awesome. I'm glad. Good for you. You, you had fun. You enjoyed it. And that's the thing, you have to do things that make you happy and have fun. Bicycles are great exercise. Go ahead, right here. Safety, right. So you have to do things that are safe. So when you're riding your bike, you gotta wear a helmet, right? How many people wear a helmet when you ride your bike? Okay, make sure, because that's important to be safe when you exercise, okay? Over there. You do dancing? Awesome, that's great. You do dancing classes too? All right, I'm going to have, we're going to finish this since we're, that's the idea is exercise. I want everybody to stand up and spread out a little bit. Okay, spread out a little bit, and let's do, let's try to do five jumping jacks together to finish, okay, so we're going to do five jumping jacks, are we ready? Yes! Okay, spread out so you don't need to turn your neck and spread out, are we ready? Yes! Are we going to count together? Yes! All right, here we go.
New Bedford Cable Network, your connection to the Whaling City.